Yes, but we'll start with a quick opening statement and we'll take questions. Uh, I think you've got to give Providence credit. I think we, you know, we clearly got beat by a better team tonight. Uh, they were certainly a better team in every way tonight. And we have a lot to learn from this and uh, a long way to go. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully a lot of improvement here uh, starting from off. Coach, why? Uh why were they so effective at both ends of the floor in the second half, as opposed to the first half, you guys kind of having the way a little bit? Well, I mean, part of it was the two best players for both of the first half, so uh, that certainly had an impact. Those, they rely on those two guys a lot, and I guess they didn't foul as much in the second half. So uh, because of that, they played basically the entire second half. Chris, what did you notice at the start of the second half that got them necessarily more from down 11 to make it about a four-point game after the first four minutes? I mean, we, just, we did not have a good approach coming out of halftime. That was, that's my fault. We, just, we did not, uh, I thought we were really just not, not as aggressive as we needed to be, uh, not nearly as alert as we needed to be coming out of, coming out of halftime. So that, that's, that's clearly on me. I'm doing a better job of getting them ready to go in the second half. Is there a common theme to Providence that the problems that they cause? Because this is four or five games that they've beaten well. Or is there a, a, a common theme that they always do something, this particular thing well? I don't know. We beat them on senior night at their place last year. So uh, and we split with them last year. So I don't know if there's a common theme. They're a good team. A good team. They've got terrific players. Uh, so, <coughs> Chris Bullock obviously hurt you with the three point shot. He really had to make threes coming in. I would imagine on the scouting report you were looking those threes. Yeah, I mean, he came in shooting 26%, I believe, is uh, his numbers. But, you know, I think we should have adjusted better after he made his third. And we did not contest his last three or four well at all. He had clean rhythm threes on his last three or four, and uh, we should have adjusted better. But certainly, uh, we did not anticipate six, six or nine. But give, uh, give him credit. He stepped up and made shots. They all did, really. Roosevelt, what makes them you know, the, the three dental guys together? That, that's a hard trio to defend. What, what makes them so good collectively? Um, I think it's a little bit of us on the offensive end taking uh, fast and uh, rush shots and they give us some fast break points. And then now they got us running and then we pick and pop and they got with Vasca and then Lee Rose, Bullock pop. So they got a lot of love to run and kind of make it difficult for us in the second half. But we should have just an add to it. Is there one thing that you sort of pinpoint as why the offense was as effective in those last five or so minutes once the game was, came tight? Yeah, I just I, I don't think we moved it very well in the second half at all. And again, that's 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 on us. We have to do, we have to do a better job. We just we just did not move the ball. I, I don't think it was a, I think it was a byproduct. So you know, guys want to make plays, and sometimes when you really 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 want to make a play. You, we have a hard time uh, seeing seeing other things, so I think we, we got into that a little bit. That's uh, something that we need to do. I just think our ball movement is as good as it needs to be. For us to have it, only 10 assists is a reflection of that. Chris, is it tough to not done off his rhythm when he seems to get rolling like that in the second half? You know, I think. With the way the game's being called right now, it's really hard to keep him off the foul line. That's, that's what's hard. So you gap him in big space, and, and uh, it frees him up to, to make shots. But uh, it's certainly a challenge. Uh, you know, if you look at his numbers, and, and he can really control the second half. Coach, there's a balance when bringing in a uh, graduate student for just one year 
Um, you got to get him indoctrinated into the program quickly. And, and Jordan gathers. Is today a, a, an example of why you want a 23 year old or however old he is? Because he was out there. He didn't get flustered. He did make plays. Is that kind of the thinking when you bring in an older guy, even though you know it's just going to be for one year? Uh, you know, one of Jordan's greatest assets is he competes. I mean, he does compete, and the moment's not too big for him. So I thought he was really active today, active on both ends, and he wasn't afraid of any moment. And, you know, he, he gave us a huge, huge lift, and we really desperately needed it. This is for both players. I know Coach mentioned that maybe the energy and the focus wasn't uh, where it needed to be to start the second half. Why do you think you guys didn't play as well in the second half as you did in the first half? Um, I don't think we was uh, moving ball as much as we did in the first half. The uh, first half we were moving, swinging around, getting easy plays, and then the second half when they started pushing it, we started trying to make plays on our, on our own, including me myself, trying to make the plays, and then it just, we kept missing shots, and it was going with so it's kind of proud of us, everybody trying to make a big play on the team. Yeah, just like uh, <coughs> Rose said, uh, we were trying to make a lot of one-on-one -on -one plays, and just, uh, Shoot quick shots, get back to position, be stopping the ball, cutting the ball. Like we did the first half, we did a pretty good job there. The second half, we did that. I know you haven't seen done until today, but how much did he factor into that sort of one on one sort of play? I mean, did he create, based on what he's doing, can he create sort of that, that mindset that guys have to do something versus just the overall team necessarily? Uh, no, I think it was just us on our own. We should have slowed the game down. And, uh, they kept making the run. It was just us for us on our offensive game. I don't know if they see that they're going to the back line. Coach, you have, a, you have a quick turnaround with Xavier in a couple of days. How did you, you know, move on from this quickly? And, and what do you have to do the next day, day and a half? Here, right? Yeah, you know, I think, I think the lesson is, is that um, Certainly, I mean, obviously, Xavier's a really good team. I think Providence is a really good team. But uh, we need to do better things uh, ourselves. And uh, if, you know, there's any team in our league can come in and beat us, um, if we continue to do some of the things we did, we did here today. Uh, so, I think that's the challenge for us, whether we learn and take from this and grow from it. I, I just think we've got we've got a long ways to go. Um, obviously, this is one of just 18 here, but uh, we're, we're fully aware of the, the quick turnaround and, and uh, what the challenge that's going to represent. But our focus really needs to be on us correcting a lot of things. I know we've been talking about this the last couple of games, but do you notice anything versus today versus the last four games with Kellen and then and shooting? No. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, I just, I, I trust that you know, Kellen's just, just got to keep working. And I'm, I'm, I've been asking so much here in the last couple of weeks, I'm sure he has as well. I mean, just, he's got to keep working, he's got to take good shots, and he's got to find other ways to impact the game. And, you know, I have to go back and look at, you know, he had some rush shots that were late. Uh, but I have to look at how many of his really 11, 11, 12 attempts uh, were difficult shots, you know. And we got to continue to do things to, to help him get better shots. Is this a slump that's just occurring in games, or is he struggling to shoot in practice, too? No, I think he's, uh, he shoots pretty well in practice. Uh, we haven't had a chance to do a whole lot of live stuff. But uh, you know, he, he shoots it well in practice, and, uh, and I fully expect him to uh, get on the roll here and, and start shooting, uh, start shooting better. And I think we all expect that. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys.